now that the qualifying is finished, what do you make of the next month or two leading into the games? I mean, I know that there's kind of a balancing act when it comes to culture and when it of, of skateboarding and the Olympic movement. And, you know, it's also the sport's first time at the games. So how are you weighing all of this as you get closer and closer? And what's the strategy going in? Well, you know, that's something I need to start talking to my coach more about, you know, in these last few days have been a decompressing stage, but it's a weird strategy because maybe there's only 20 skaters going to Tokyo, right? And what am I there to do? Like, am I there to help skateboarding? Am I there to help spread creativity throughout skateboarding? That's what I see I'm there for. Or am I there to place the best and do the, and, and try to beat everybody. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm kind of, I want to be there to help skateboarding more than I want to try to beat other people. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it, it's a, it, it's a trip. So I've heard rumors that only the top eight will get televised. So there's 20 skaters that are going and then they do an elimination round, take out 12 and then the top eight are the ones that get televised. So if my goal is to help skateboarding through my run and showing creativity, then I need to beat everybody to, to make it to that stage where that's, so I, I have this uh, moral dilemma I'm going through right now where I, I have to have a really clear goal in order to prepare for it. And that, mm. that goal is something I'm still developing.